you doing today? Very well, thank you. How are you doing? Good. Give me that blazer. It's cute. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Look, I am loving the roles that you have been taking, playing these badass women. I'm so here for it. And I, oh. I just really wanted to know, like, about the intentionality between the roles that you choose, like, these roles that really empower women to, like, have their own agency. Can you speak a little bit more about that, especially with this film? Yeah, I think um, there, there's definitely, well, my intention, I think, is always to explore the characters uh, where I think there's something new and challenging for me to do. And, uh, you know, it's kind of just been good luck, I guess, that the that a lot of them have been, you know, these strong, uh, strong women, but I think crucially they've they've been complex and that's what I'm always really drawn to. And the thing with Elsa that I that I I mean, of course, I was drawn to doing all the fighting and the stunts and stuff. You know, I love doing that stuff and that makes my day to day really, really fun. But in terms of the character, what I loved was that we were going to try and um, explore the the humanity and the vulnerability in this woman, you know, because she is this, um, you know, fierce kick-ass, sarcastic, witty uh, person in the comics. And we wanted to bring all of that, but at the same time also bring a humanity to her as well and and, and bring her on a journey. Look, I loved it. I, I will not tolerate the disrespect of Elsa. Everybody's being very disrespectful to her in, in this uh, special presentation, but I'm going <laughs> to let it slide. <laughs> <laughs> I love that it has this like 30s, like horror vibe to it. Like I really enjoyed that. And I wanted to know for you, like, how was it actually being able to like bring something new to the Marvel universe, but also to while paying homage to the 30s? I mean, for me, that was heaven. That was kind of all of the things that I really love brought together. I was genuinely a huge fan of those old monster movies, the, the Universal monster movies and the Hammer Horror movies. My, my sister was big into them when I was a kid. And so I grew up watching them and uh, they really did, you know, form my childhood. So when I found out that it was going to be a tribute to that, but at the same time within the MCU, because I'm a big Marvel fan and have been since Iron Man, um, you know, it was kind of all my Halloweens came at once. <laughs> um, it was it was really cool to know that I was going to be doing something that was really unique and fresh within this universe that I already loved so much. But I really love like the production design, like as you're kind of going through this crazy maze, like how was it actually interacting with the sets? Because I think that's what really helps set the tone as well. Yeah, exactly. And that was a big attraction to the role for me was that when I first spoke to Michael, our director, he'd said that we were going to have everything was going to be practical. You know, we were going to have real sets that we could interact with and costumes and, you know, the monsters and everything else would be real. And so for me, you know, I, I come from a theater background, so that's what I'm used to. I'm not used to imagining that a tennis ball is a monster or something like that, you know, and and I that's the stuff that I love doing. And I like being able to look in another actor's eyes and be able to really connect with them. So I had all of that and those sets were amazing. You know, we, we have this fantastic maze set that was, uh, we all did genuinely keep getting lost in it. You know, you'd go to try and find your bottle of water and you realized you were in a completely different place than you thought you were, which, you know, it just, it just made the whole thing really fun and I loved it. Look, keep being a badass because I'm here for it. Can't wait for the next project. And I'm just going to thank you for speaking with me. I'm doing nothing but sending love and light your way. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much. Have a great one yourself. Thank you. Here, wait. Hi, how are you doing today? Great. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm so watching this. I was like, when it started, I was like, ooh, we about to introduce the kids to a little bit of old school with yes. the vibe that we have with this special. <laughs> I wanted to know for you, because it reminds me of kind of like that 30s horror. Mm -hmm. I wanted to know for you, like, what were some of the old school horror films that kind of like inspired you while growing up? Sure. I mean, that you'd hit the nail on the head. That's what we wanted to do. Um, I'm a big fan of of the mummy, the original, and I also enjoy Creature from Black Lagoon. Um, but even so, we, when we were talking with things like um, Invisible Man, like the old way that they did those techniques in the 30s is crazy and it looks great. And it looks great because you care about those characters and you care about the story. And um, we wanted to bring a little bit of that to the MCU. Well, look, was there any reservations that you had? Because I'm very interested to see the reactions to this. Because it's something so fresh and new while paying homage to what came before. Mm -hmm. So can you talk a little bit about any reservations that you might have had? Sure. I think 
with any creative enterprise, the always the question in my mind is always, is it going to work? Because <laughs> you're sitting there and you're getting excited, and we have this you know process that we're we're trying to ever make everything better. So throughout the day, or as we're shooting, we're like, what if we tried this? What if we did this? And you kind of get to the end of the shoot and go, oh wow, I can't believe we did that. And then you kind of look around at your director and your editor. Did did guys did it work? Did we do it? Um, and that's sort of, I wouldn't say a reservation, but it's it, the idea is that this is such a different approach in, you know, having that black and white texture and doing very specific homages to those monster movies of the 30s and 40s and using the music and leaning on, you know, the shadows that um, it all seems great to us, but we want to make sure that the fans enjoy it, right? Like we make these things for the fans to enjoy. And so I'm just excited to finally release it and see see what people say. Look, I was excited. I was like, I'm vibing to this. I'm, I'm here for this right now. I was watching it at night. So I just had that with the score and everything. It was great. Um, awesome. But speaking of the music, because I feel like that's a huge component of this that really helps like get you into the zone. Um, how was it actually bringing Michael on, knowing that not only is his, he is this fantastic, amazing composer, but also bringing his direction to this project as well? What was that collaboration like? Michael is very collaborative and one of the benefits is that he's worked in the industry in a couple different positions and on TV shows, on movies, on video games. And so he's bringing all that knowledge in and he has all these ideas of fun things that we can do while we're shooting the movie. And, and one of the uh, ways that Michael would sort of get his vision across is he would, you know, we'd have a meeting or we'd say, we're about to shoot this scene. He'd be like, I want to play you something. And he'd play a little piece of music. He's like, the scene should feel like this. And it was such a unique approach because, um, you know, most directors are not also composers <laughs> and uh, just for whatever reason. And so he had um, a way of like exciting people by playing music and this is what I was thinking and what about this tone and instantly you get it, right? In any type of horror movie, um, the music sets the tone of how, how afraid should I be right now? What is something around that corner? What's gonna pop up? And so for this in particular, it was the right project to bring Michael and his talents together. Look, I loved it. Oh, I wish I had more time to talk to you because this is just so much that we need to break down. Okay, <laughs> of I course. Want, I just want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to speak with me. I appreciate you. Thank you for taking a huge swing on this. Of and I'm course. just saying nothing but love and light your way. I hope you have a great day. Oh, thank you very much. It was nice to meet you. And I'm glad you liked it. That's wonderful. Yeah, it was great meeting you.